Hi everybody, um, just a quick little video today. I have managed to somehow contract horrendous conjunctivitis in one eye. So um, I really didn't think anybody <laughs> would want to see it because I really do look like I've been punched in the face. So I thought I would show you my yarn stash instead. Um, I do apologise for the angle. I'm trying to get the best quality that I can. Um, I dropped my phone last year sometime and I've cracked the the um the lens here so you can probably see like it looks like a little bit if i do that like a bit like a rainbow um so yeah when i hold it the other way it looks even worse so i know that it's going to come up as being that really annoying angle when you watch it back but it's better than not being able to see anything so yeah um this is where i keep my yarn it's a four tier i believe it's supposed to be a shoe rack from very but it does the job and it can all be um protected from the dust because it's got one of those you can see one of these little dust flappy bits um so yeah so that's where i keep all my yarn well most most of my yarn um on top i've got the yarn that i will be working with next and then in this bag is all the stuff that i've finished and then obviously my my little sewing box that hardly ever gets used in fact most of the time it does tend to be used as <laughs> as a footrest it's a very good footrest but yeah so um bag of toys and then all of my scarves oh you can really see the colors today i'll just have a little see if because on the last video you can see but it's such a glorious day today so yeah let's have a quick quickly pull them out just finished this one i think i finished that one on was it friday it must have been friday i'm sure it was friday yeah lovely a quick look in the bag Wait, can you see that one that's the one that i absolutely love and then there's just some hats and things and some little hair clips that i made for my daughter's school fair yeah so that's all of that um i'll put all that back later just move it to the side and then the yarn storage on the bottom is mainly um, yarn that doesn't have a label, so it's already been used, and I've stupidly chucked the label away. And then, obviously, whatever I can't fit higher up goes in there. That one actually should be should be there. But anyway, um, next one up is mainly maypole and marble, the two hundred gram balls, because <laughs> it's the only place I could fit them. Um, my galaxy yarns as well which I still don't know what to make out of. So if anybody's got any suggestions, do let me know. And then, of course, bits that I can't fit anywhere else. So there's a couple of Starcraft. Sorry. <clears throat> the next one up is mainly Poundland and Pound World. That is the purple that I was talking about that I think is absolutely gorgeous. You can really, really see it today. If you compare it, that's the Poundland and that's the Pound World. So you can really see the difference. And then there's obviously just some more, some more Starcraft chucked in there for good measure. And then the top is all of my new balls so they haven't been touched yet um i just like to keep them separate so i don't get them confused and then like i said on the top is the yarn that i will be oh sorry for the wobble the yarn that i will be using next for small corner to corner scars i'm just going to stand up sorry hope i'm not making you see sick so yeah that's the yarn i'll be using next this is the one that i wanted three of that she only had one of and my safety eyes arrived Yay! Not those ones, the one behind. Those are the ones that I ordered the wrong ones of, but I'll still use them. And then this is where I sit to film and to work, actually. Um, my virus shawl is finally finished. I'll talk about that in a second. And then have, sorry, my work in progress at the minute, which is another set of nesting bowls. So that's that there. And then the bag that I keep all of the nesting bowl colours in. And then another, <laughs> yet another corner to corner scarf, which is the maypole ginger and lime. I haven't done very much. But I like to have one of these on the go. And I love, love, love this colour. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Excuse my pyjamas, I'm feeling very run down today. Ugh. But yeah, so that's that. And then, yeah, the virus shawl. <laughs> um, if you're on Shan's Crafty Corner, um, Facebook group or Casalistics, you probably would have seen that I did a little rant <laughs> on Friday 
because I, um, basically I played John Chicken and I lost and I didn't have any more. And I literally had about that much left to do. And obviously I just could not, obviously you can really see the crack there, can't you? I could just could not get the arm to stretch. So <laughs> what do you do when you're in a conundrum? You ask the lovely, lovely ladies of all of the craft groups and go help. And um, Esmeralda came to my rescue and suggested that I just do a slightly smaller stitch for the last row, which I did. I dropped it from a UK double to a, no, UK, sorry, UK treble to a UK half treble. So it's American double to a half double. And I think it looks fine. I think it's very nice. Um, I like how the colours turned out. I absolutely love, love, love the colours. I think it's gorgeous. I haven't blocked it or anything yet. Oh, that was what I was going to ask. Has anybody got any tips for blocking maypole? Because it's polyester, I believe. Let's have a look. Hold on. I'm sure it's polyester. Yeah, 100% 100 polyester. So I'm not sure how I would go about blocking that. But, um... Anyway, that's that's it. It's done. I like I say, I love the colours, and I oops, sitting down again. <laughs> I am going to do another one using that marble over there, and hope that that stretches far enough. I had a little while with Rishan and asked her some advice, and so she's been very helpful and giving me some good advice. So I will start that soon after I finished the nesting bowls and the other <laughs> what six corner to corner scars I've got to do. So yeah, so that's um, everything. Sorry it's such a short and sweet video, but like I said, I have a very, very sore eye and I just feel really, really run down. So I thought I'd get something up, trying to stick to my schedule. I wanted to do um, Vida as well, but after the state of me, I was like, I just can't even fathom trying to vlog every day especially considering I look like Quasimodo at the minute so yeah um that's that I'm gonna leave you to it I hope you all have a lovely Sunday and I will catch you on Wednesday bye